So what brings you here today, Lord McNally? This is an important conference and I hope I've got some important messages to give to it. The most important of all is that we believe that experts are an important part of our justice system and will continue to do so. Um, but we are working on changes in the justice system um, that are going to uh, both offer challenges and I hope opportunities to the expert sector uh, but managing change is always difficult. Um, I'm very grateful uh, to uh, experts, particularly in family law, who have helped us to uh, develop the uh, new standards that we hope to bring in, in family law expert advice. And I I'm hoping that although um, some of my message is tough in terms of uh, expert fees, uh, that there is also a, a hopeful and a constructive message um, that experts are important, um, that we want to uh, lift up standards in the profession, uh, we want to have a framework uh, where it is easily understood by all sections, uh, including the judiciary, where and how best to use experts. I think if we can come through this period of change, then ahead there will be a, a really good and healthy future for experts within our legal system. And I, I'm pleased that this conference, although obviously talking about bread and butter issues that are important, are also talking uh, about the development of the profession in, in a very constructive way, and I welcome that. The conference, of course, being hosted by Bond so long, if we are going to have fewer witness experts, is it vital that they are at the top of their game, that they're trained well by people? Like I think that's the, one of the things that, that we're hoping to introduce into it, that, it, that there has got to be professional standards and that those who uh, want to prosper in the profession, who want to be on call um, by uh, courts, by those in uh, court cases, um, are going to need to uh, carry uh, experience and expertise that will be sought after. I mean, that, that's the, the, if people say, how are we going to survive? Uh, experts are going to survive by upskilling and by getting the uh, recognition and the qualifications um, that, that are marketable in, in the area that, that they, they're needed. And I, I think those that anticipate the changes and, and work with the weft of the changes, will survive and prosper. Just finally, what, what do you make of the counter-argument from people such as Michael Mansfield, who suggests that this is sort of generating justice on the cheap? Not justice on the cheap, um, but not justice at excessive cost. I mean, I have got an, uh, a responsibility. I've got a dual responsibility. I have a responsibility to make sure that we have a justice system that works, that delivers justice. But I've also got a responsibility to the taxpayer that that justice is delivered at a reasonable cost. And I've often said there are aspects of our justice system that um, would be recognisable by Charles Dickens. Uh, there are some even that might be recognisable by um, Shakespeare, who talked about the law, law's delay. If we can make the system more efficient, we can make it better for those that get involved in uh, the law and also that those who work and deliver services in the law. But the days of big fee barristers uh, earning colossal sums at the taxpayer's expense are over. And I think, you know, Michael Mansfield is one that may have to adjust to that reality.